Good of our viewers, this is Satellite Media. Alaji, we are, we are looking at uh, the statement that came from uh, Dr. Anglo Abdullahi, saying that uh, Nigeria needs to be renegotiated. And before now, Abbasaji have said that the Igbos are not the first one to call for division of Nigeria, that outside in the, far, in, the, in, the pla, in the past shouted Araba, meaning divide Nigeria. And we are seeing a situation where Nadekalo have been incarcerated for some years, and the agitation refused to stop. The position of uh, Anglo Abdullahi, that Nigeria needs to be renegotiated. As a respected Yoruba man, let me get your perspective. I don't, don't tribalize anything I'm saying. I am not tribalizing myself that because I'm speaking for Yoruba man, I'm speaking for now someone else. Anglo, Anglo Abdullahi is speaking of his own Anglo. You ask him who and who is he talking about. It's because he's no more in government. Because he's not in the corridor of government, that is why he's saying what he's saying. Let them give him something to do in one of the offices now and tell him to repeat this word. Now you see that it's not, it will not be there. And for issue of Kanu, no government that came in to meet the issue of Shano like this, that want to release him the way he wants to release him. They will look at it as the security aspect of it. It's either the government come into negotiation with their with their people to do what the people need. So it, 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 that is, it, if even where he is, he will he will be, have been celebrating that uh, my people have been looked into. So if he come outside, there won't be any agitation. But when his people are here to benefit, you want them to read it and release it. When he come, he said they never do and they never do them. Then they will, every, everywhere will explode again because his his own words is very very volume. It's loud and volume. Do you understand what I'm saying now? So that's why. Let us look at um, the prolonged litigation of the same man. Because before now, we understand that court of appeal uh, set him free, saying that he was extraordinary rendition. And at a point, some people from the south east part of the country tried to look for a political solution. Did we have law in Nigeria? We don't. We don't have law in Nigeria. So if you keep saying, you just keep saying it. How many, how many people have lost their lives for something they don't know about? How many people have been picked on the street? Somebody who is going to look for his daily bread that has been picked before he knows he meets himself in curriculum. I have worked towards releasing some people in the curriculum. I brought them here for people to see them when I release them. When I work for them to be released, I stood for them. How many people have that person, some, such a person that will stand for them to release them? Let us look at the issue of uh, Nigerian constitution because some lawyers have argued that what we have was forced on Nigerians that we need a people's oriented constitution. It is, it is long overdue. But unfortunately, the bitter truth is that Jonathan got it wrong. Does the East want to go on their own? Does the Yoruba want to go on their own? Does the Asa want to go on their own? Exactly when we click 100 years of reformation of Nigeria, the constitution can be changed. But because he wants to go for the second time, he now came and employed the services of constitutional, constitutional, what do you call it, conference, confab, which now kill that move from tooth and nail now we have to fight it to bring it back and put it on the table and see that if we want to go apart we can go apart we have the chance when jonathan was there in government but his own greed that made him want to go for second time make him not to look at that thing at that time and before you know it those who make him to do it are not there to vote for him to go for the second term. So that's the truth. And also, I'd like to look at uh, the recent protests across the nation where Nigerians were protesting against bad governance. They were trying to draw attention of government to good governance. But surprisingly, some minors were arrested and charged for treason. It happens everywhere in the world. Because nobody will protest against a government that they will not want to pick somebody in order to frighten other ones not to come out. They release some of them now. Do you understand? 
not even on bail, discharged and acquitted. Well, that was after outcry when the video of the children in the court went viral. Exactly. We never said no, but yet they were being released that they should go. I'm not in support of the issue of the, those children or no children no, that have been packed. I'm not talking of that. But what I'm saying is every government, when you know there's going to be a protest, all they will do is to go against you, is to go after you. So those who have been picked know and must have knew that definitely they are still they are going to pay for it. And the only thing that can make it to go on and on for it to survive is to believe in what they believe in and to work on, on it until we get it right and let them understand that we are not stopping, we are not keeping quiet until we get it right. Okay, let us look at the, the proposed uh, tax reform bill as submitted by Mr. President to National Assembly. The not true senator, one of the senators from the north, from Brunel State, Ndume, I come back later to say that bill is dead on arrival because we understand that the government is proposing a review of uh, value added tax from 7.5% to 12.5% by January next year. Nigerians should be expecting this when, we, when they voted for Tinubu to come to government. Nigerians should respect this when they, when they voted for Tinubu to become a president. There's not something new. If they didn't pass it yet, they'll still pass it another time. Because that's the way they make their own money. They will not be, bring infrastructures into the nation. They will never be industries into the nation. They never bring any company to come and do one or two things for the nation to grow. They will want to make what they want to make from the tax. That's the truth. And how I wish and how I pray, it is dead on arrival as said. If they are not going to collect under peanuts, to forget it again and to look into it. If I may ask, as a destabilized Nigerian, what is your view to get us right? If not until you, until you don't see me as a Yoruba man. I want to get a perspective. What do we need to do as a people to get it right? See, you don't see me as a Yoruba man. I don't see you as an Igbo man, an Edoma or anything. It is from me and you that can happen. We are currently, as we speak, Nigerians are saying they are not comfortable with the trajectory of governance of Senator Amebola. Nobody is not comfortable unless everybody wants to lie. If you say anybody who is defending the government now, they just have to be because they have said Gautinumbu will be. Now that they has come, that is not instead of they are just covering their shame. Nobody is enjoying my brother. Nobody. So the bad governance is something that's open to everybody. That's it. Okay, if you were to advise in terms of uh, um, reforming our electoral system, because we understand that the major problem we had in that 2023 election was how to transmit election results. And currently, people are saying, give us new electoral act where you reduce human interference to the extent of you must transmit election results electronically. What is your opinion? Yes, we, we, I, even if we want to do it electronically, I think we should be able to do it the way we do our ATM card. Or the way we do it on our phone now. See, start dash, 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 dash. And you vote there, and that's how it will count. But it, there is nothing like electronics count that to somebody that is going to press it. That is, that is going to be that is not that is not going to be a, a reading in it because anytime it is only when an election is coming that they will employ more and those people they will employ them to tell them we must not fail if we fail you lose your job okay. now let us look at the issue of anti-corruption about governors went to court before now asking court to invalidate efc because according to them it was un convention that established it but the wisdom of Supreme Court, they came out to say it is legal. And we understand that Kogi State Governor, who is facing challenge with EFC, Kogi State is in the lead of trying to invalidate EFC. What is, what is your take? He will, he will, he will, because he's a criminal, because he, I, I'm sorry to be, he has been so, he's, he's a suspect. Let me not use the criminal because he's a, so he's a suspect. So he will do, do everything possible in order to, def, to, to, to defend himself. So he will, sub, he will definitely support that bill. And you can see that it's going, it's working. Since they can make Mr. President to be one of the ambassadors of uh, CIA now. He has been endorsed. You mean our president? Yes. yes. It's one of the CIA endorsements. Yes. Yeah, yeah, what does that protect for our country? It protects how bad we are. It protects how bad we are. 
and it shows how much we are dolent. We don't know what you are really doing. That we see somebody that somebody like a CIA now will not pick our Mr. President to come and tell us that his, his integrity is clean. Okay, finally, on this sir, let us look at uh, Lagos police. They said they rejected a bribe of about 174 million naira from an internet fraudster. From who? An internet fraudster. Yeah. They rejected the bribe. Did they tell you the one they collected before that one? So they won't tell you the one they will collect after this. Eh? Yeah? So it doesn't mean they now have integrity. That was a, they don't have. They don't have who? There is foul play somewhere that if this thing should bust, they will be in trouble. That's why it came out. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.